Hi, I'm Ruby Romina, and this is Bibi, my lovely black she-cat. <laughs> and as you probably already know, every good witch needs to have a black cat. <laughs> or maybe we ought to turn it upside down and inside out. And maybe we'll rephrase that. Every black cat needs to have a good witch as a sidekick. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, perhaps you're feeling a little bit disorientated in your life. And perhaps you have some kind of problem or a certain area in your life needs um, some clarity and at times like this we often like to turn to fortune tellers don't we for fortune teller readings so if you'd like to have a fortune teller reading with me then if you're not already on my website then just visit me at theoracle.com now for this sample demo reading i've decided to use angel cards and fairy cards i've mixed them up a little bit and jumbled them all up. So I'm going to carry on shuffling them for you, and we'll see what um, you know, what message the angels and the fairies have for you today, and whether or not you've actually purposely uh, you know, visited me, or whether you've just stumbled upon this video. The angels and the fairies obviously do have something to say to you. So hang around. That's card number one. <laughs> oh, let's find another card. Angels and fairies, that will be card two. It would also help, wouldn't it? Having a sound time is, is only of any use if you turn it upside down. <laughs> One of these days I'll actually remember to do it. Now, this card is upside down. So, oh, and this card says fairies. So this is very interesting, isn't it? A fairy card that's turned upside down. Environment, playtime and enchantment. Or because it's an upside down card, the fairies are actually obviously telling you that that's the card the right way up. And that's how I pick the card up. So it's in reverse. So the fairies are obviously telling you that you do actually need to actually, uh, you know, take into account your environment and make sure that you um you know, that you take time out to actually have some entertainment. You're obviously doing far too much at the moment, aren't you? And you're neglecting yourself, which is never good, is it? It's never good for one's emotional health, is it? Or physical health to neglect yourself. Oh, and this one says walk away. And let me put my glasses on because uh, some of the print is actually really quite small. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Oh, but it seems to me that there obviously is something going on, isn't there, in your life? Something that you know has become unhealthy. And maybe it is your domestic environment. Maybe your domestic environment has become very unhealthy and unbearable. And you know deep down in your heart of hearts that it's time to walk away from it. Perhaps it's a relationship that's uh, run its course. And, you know, basically, I do actually feel that this card, these cards are speaking to women to be honest, that are trapped in unhealthy relationships that may be, we don't like to talk about this, do we? But we have to, that perhaps a relationship that's actually turned um, aggressive, violent, and serves you in no way. And you have to find the peace of mind, don't you, and clarity to walk away from that negative uh, situation. You have to know that there are, you know, plenty of uh, fish in the sea, as they say, and plenty of other loves that will come into that are available that will treat you as the princess or the prince <laughs> that you deserve, isn't it? So yes. So um it does it seems to me that you've got some kind of domestic situation that you really need to extricate yourself from. And when you do, the whole you know, the whole situation will start to remedy itself. You'll start to feel better in your mind, in your emotions, in your spirit, in your soul, and in your body of course so um you know never be scared to actually walk away from a relationship that is bad uh, when i was younger in my uh, younger day i'm in my 40s now but when i was in my you know in my 20s um i ended up in a couple of uh really bad lousy relationships and you have to you have to close the door on it and you have to say to yourself you're worth a lot more than that so um you know but you also need to obviously take time out you need to uh, have fun with your friends. And um, well, it does say, I, 
enchantment. <laughs> Learn to become enchanted with yourself. Learn to become enchanted with life again. And maybe even don't even worry about, you know, Mr. Right or Miss Right. Just worry about yourself and get yourself together. And, you know, the rest will fall in place. But you need to maybe, you know, I would also say that it's about falling in love with yourself again, isn't it? Or maybe you never have fallen in love with yourself. Fall in love with yourself. And then the right love of your life will turn up. It's a life lesson, isn't it? And that we all have to learn it. Well, most of us have to learn it, don't we? And I think it's your learning time if you've uh, happened upon this, um, this reading. So if you'd like a, a more in-depth reading with me, then like I said before, then just toddle off over to my uh, website, theoracle.com. And in the meantime, I really do hope that you resolve these matters. And you know, obviously, that these uh, cards pertain to you. And um, like I said, we can talk about it in much further uh, depth, can't we, uh, on my own website. Now, in the meantime, it's bye from me and it's bye from Bibi. <laughs> now, what if Bibi's going to say bye-bye? Oh, you're going to say bye-bye, Bibi. <laughs> Bye.